So hey guys, we are here at the EVGA booth here at Computex 2013. I'm here with Jacob, the product manager from EVGA. We have some new motherboards on display. Uh, so Jacob, talk to us a little bit about what's new in these motherboards and what's what are you bringing out? Sure, so we have three new motherboards based on the Intel Z87 chipset. We have a, a mini ITX motherboard, and we call it the Z87 Stinger. We have a middle, kind of middle of the line motherboard we call Z87 FTW, and our highest end Z87 uh, classified motherboard. And the classified motherboard, a um, couple news things that we are doing this for this generation. We are using Creative Core 3D audio, which is new for EVGA. Uh, we're also using dual Intel uh, Gigabit Ethernets. We spent a lot of time on the layout of this motherboard. So this motherboard supports four-way SLI mm -hmm. in an EATX format. It's not XLATX, so it's okay, you know, yeah, so you more of a normal size motherboard. Mm -hmm. um, in order to uh, enable four-way SLI, we use a bridge chip. Uh, so there's two chips under here, the Z87 chipset and a bridge chip. It gives it more PCI Express lanes, allows it to run four-way SLI. Also spend a lot of time on the, the layout over here. So we have eight SATA 6G ports, all right angled. We have two right angled fan headers right here. This is uh, something new for us as well. Right angled 24 pin header and a right angled USB 3.0 header. Nice. Any um, sort of one button overclocking abilities? Uh, well, Maybe per perhaps not for classified. I mean, that's sort of a enthusiast board, but is that still incorporated? Um, and, and we, for that type of feature, we do from our BIOS level. So in this this generation of motherboards and our X79 Dark, which is our upcoming X79 platform, we have a new, uh, a completely brand new BIOS GUI that we've been working on for I don't know, maybe two years or something. You know, finally, finally, it's going to ship with the Z87 and the X79 Dark. So and you'll be showing that a bit later, right? Okay. Yep. All right. And so the FTW. Yeah, the FTW board. Uh, it's it's a, somewhat similar to the X79 uh, Dark, uh, not the X, the Z87 Classified, a bit similar. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, board's not e EATX, it's regular ATX form factor. It's a two-way SLI plus PhysX. So, you know, obviously it doesn't have the bridge chip. It'll be less expensive than the Classified. For, so for the person who's running a two-way SLI or a single graphics card, it's a, it's a good solution. Right. And then the uh, mini ITX board here. This also uses the Creative Audio Controller, the Core 3D Audio. Um, has USB 3.0, Bluetooth, SATA 6G, you know, all the bells and whistles yeah. that you can fit on a mini ATX <laughs> mini mother <laughs> yeah, motherboard, right. essentially. So, mm -hmm. okay, thanks. So, uh, right now, let's head on over to the to the computer. Perhaps you can show us what's sure. new in the BIOS, new new UEFI UI. All right. So this is the uh, new UEFI BIOS that we've been uh, working on for several years, and you know, we actually had very early versions that uh, you know the mouse was jumpy and that kind of stuff so we didn't we didn't want to have an experience like that so we didn't ship it uh, but this we finally got everything fine-tuned you can see the mouse movement is smooth yeah um, you can use the you can obviously use the mouse you can scroll scrolling works just as you would expect it to uh, but you don't have to use the mouse you can use the keyboard right uh, the keyboard works just like any traditional mouse you know, the thing that we found is some people like to use the keyboard they still like to use the keyboard so we didn't want to have any splash screens or anything like that that they had to click on in order to use it we wanted to make it make sure it's very familiar and uh, also new and gives a lot of useful information at the top here so you know we have our uh, CPU B clock we have a multiplier we have our CPU frequency this tells you hyper threading is enabled mm -hmm. this tells you how many CPU cores we have uh, this tells me I have two eight uh, two DIMMs, two memories that are eight gigabytes each. Okay. Total sixteen gigabytes. The frequency that it's running at, my CPU voltage, you know, memory voltage. This tells me I have a single graphics card running at PCI Express 3.0. So we wanted to give all this kind of very very useful information up at a glance. All the important features right in the display versus the other UFI you probably have. I mean, it's still there, but you still have to go fishing for it. Yeah, right. I mean. Truthfully, nobody wants to be in the BIOS for a long time. You know, they want to click on here, they want to set their CPU multiplier, and then they want to get out. Right. You know, that was kind of the the idea behind it. You know, actually, when you go into the BIOS, the first tab is the overclocking tab because we know that's what people are probably going into the BIOS to adjust. Mm -hmm. And another feature we have is a screenshot button. You can take a screenshot and you can share the screenshot, to upload the screenshot. Right. So this BIOS will be shipping with the new Z uh, 87 motherboards, and I guess forward. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, thanks, Jacob. Let's go over check out some. Uh, well, the new case, the mini box, and some of the graphics cards.
So one other cool thing that uh, we, we, he, we see here at EVGA is the mini box. It's the anniversary item. Uh, is this the very first case EVGA has produced? Yes, it is actually. Right, so it's, uh, yeah. it's quite unique and it's in its own way. So tell us a lot about the history, perhaps some of the okay. design Yeah, so um, actually we showed, up, we showed an early uh, concept off at, uh, at CES a few months ago. And um, you know, we took a lot of feedback from that. That was very early at that time. We took a lot of feedback into that, incorporated into the new design. And uh, this is the very close to shipping final. So it's almost product. the final outcome. And uh, so what we have is a, uh, a mini. We call it the EVJ Mini Box. It's a mini ITX chassis. Mm -hmm. Supports any mini ITX motherboard. Uh, in this particular one, we have the EVJ Z87 mini ITX. But it can fit any mini ITX motherboard. Right. We uh, we. Kind of sell it as a bare bone kit, so it has a obviously the chassis, it has a power supply, it's a 500 watt power supply, uh, perfectly capable of running GTX Titan, GTX 780. We have a Titan in this machine. Yeah, you have a Titan in right, in right now. Fine. And what's the total power draw for the Titan and this system configuration? Um, it's I think around 350 watts to 400 watts, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, it also comes with an optical drive. Oh, it's, so, it's, so the optical drive. The optical included. drive is is embedded into the case. It's a slot load drive right. on the side here. You can s just stick a DVD in there, in there it'll go mm -hmm. in. Um, this chassis we expect to have in the, available in the middle of July. Okay, and what's the suggested retail price? Is that... Still, we're still finalizing that, but it'll be competitive uh, to other chassis in the market, you know, considering that it has a power supply and an optical drive. Right. <coughs> and also, any water cooling options? I mean, this is, uh, this seems to me like, it's so, a it's a small case, but you right. might perhaps want to right. incorporate so some enthusiast we, things. Into so right. this is the air-cooled version, but we are planning to uh, make available some water cooling accessories, like a radiator that can go on top here. The tubes go into, uh, we have a couple of, uh, holes back here where the mm -hmm. tubes can go into and go to the CPU right. and also an integrated pump as well. Mm -hmm. And so the, the water cooling, I guess the case would be slightly higher? Yeah, it'd be a little bit taller because the radiator here, but uh, not too much. Mm -hmm. you know, it would still be a very thin device, but it would probably be a bit quieter. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I want to also mention about this power supply is that you know, this... It's flat. It's uh, almost... <laughs> yeah, the power supply in the, uh, in the chassis is a is the, the thin type of power supply, but we spend a lot of time to optimize the acoustic properties of it so it's not loud. Mm -hmm. Is there a fan included with the, the case and the power supply? Is there a right. fan inside? Yes. Right, okay. And um, so what are the, so airflow options, so dual 120s? Uh, yeah, these are dual 120s. Dual 120s up here, the power supply has a fan as well in the middle. Right, so it's gonna be almost uh, just a passive airflow taking from the top. Right. right. And uh, you know we, we were running uh, some games back here. The temperatures were good. The actually the loudest fan in this machine, believe it or not, is the graphics card. And the Titan is a not a loud card, but the the machine is pretty sound. Right. Okay. Well, let's go check out the, some of the graphics cards that uh, you guys have on here on display. And so one of the last things here at the EVJ booth is uh, their really powerful graphics cards with their custom coolers, custom PCBs. So Jacob, what makes them so special? Sure, so uh, recently we launched the GTX 780 and the 770. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of our cards will use uh, this new cooler here. This is the EVJ ACX cooler. Uh, so this cooler, we, uh, you know, we, we spent a lot of time on, on making sure this cooler was the best it can be. So we took a lot of the, we looked at a lot of the competing solution and tried to see how we can innovate. So first of all, these, these are double ball bearing fans. Most of the competitors use sleeve bearings, so double ball bearings fans offer a much longer lifespan uh, than traditional sleeve bearings. And they have less resistance, so it requires less right, power. Less power. power to operate them. And um, we also increase the fin volume. So the way that we increase the fin volume, and this is versus, uh, again, competing solutions on the market today, is we just used all the available space underneath this shroud here to, inc to pack in as many fins as possible, fins as possible. and uh, right. you know that gives you uh, absorbs more heat giving you greater heat dissipation mm -hmm. and uh, so you, you know I think that uh, some of the reviews out there speak for themselves the card is an excellent performer and uh, we're very excited about this right and so the, the, the heat sink that is copper right, yes. right. and it is uh, well it is colored in different ways so it's not it doesn't have that copper uh, look to it right so you went with a different approach making it uh, well darker so it's a lot more sleek mm -hmm. would fit in with the rest of your 
case internals. So overall, the design here is also a big yeah. part, part yeah, aside we, from the coolant. We spent a lot of time on the design and um, you know, very excited about it. Right, yeah, looks cool. Looks cool. And uh, for the graphics card side, we have a couple new graphics cards here. We have, uh, first of all, we have the EVGA GTX 780 Classified. So mm -hmm. this again uses the ACX cooler with double ball bearing fans. And uh, this card, we have a custom PCB. It's 14 power phases. It's uh, about an inch taller. We needed this extra PCB space in order to accommodate the additional uh, yeah. VRM there. So <laughs> um, the, the benefit with this is um, because we're using better, a better cooling device, we're using better power VRMs, we are able to increase the power target. So, um, you know, whereas traditional, uh, the reference card could maybe go to like 108% power target, this card will be able to go uh, much higher. Mm -hmm. So, better overclocking ahead of Better overclocking. Right. Uh, this one's very similar to the 780. Again, 14 power phases. It's, a, an, again, an inch taller PCB. Uh, the difference with this card is it has uh, two gigabytes more of memory. So this is a four gigabyte card. There's extra uh, memory chips along the backside here. Mm -hmm. So excellent for multiple monitors. Yeah, it's it's really it would high be resolution. really good for uh, you know high resolution, uh, 4K obviously, or surround gaming, uh, even. 2560 by 1440, you probably could see a benefit with four gigabytes compared to two gigabytes. Right. So EVJ also has some new power supplies here uh, that are shipping today and shipping later on this year. So go through some of the power supplies that you have here on display. Sure. So power supplies is relatively new for EVJ. We got into power supplies uh, late last year. Mm -hmm. um, we, had, we launched a 1500 watt power supply. Uh, but we are continuing uh, basically down the line to fill in you know, complete top to bottom. So uh, we have a 500 watt power supply here, which you know, obviously is very cost effective, but it's, uh, it's bronze rated. Um, so you, this will be kind of our entry level at the moment. Right. Uh, so that's brand new. That will be shipping uh, probably within the next month or so. And uh, next up, we have a 1000 watt platinum. So uh, a few weeks ago, we launched a 1000 watt gold. And this is the 1000 watt platinum version, so it's higher efficiency. higher efficiency. It'll be a little bit more expensive, obviously, but not too much. Mm -hmm. And it's full modular cables? Right, 100% modular cables. And How big is the fan here? One, the, uh, 140. This is a 140. Okay. And uh, we also have... It's also ball bearing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and making sure. <laughs> and we have a 1300 watt power supply. So this one is also brand new. It's going to be shipping in about a month. 1300 watt gold rated, so 90 plus efficiency. Mm -hmm. It's 100% modular, just like previous. This one has a special feature that we call a semi-passive fan, where uh, the fan actually can turn off if, if it's uh, not needed. Yeah, if it's not needed. So it, you know, at idle and that kind of stuff, it's essentially silent, completely right. silent. Mm -hmm. So, um, and especially know. with higher watt power supplies, you require that higher efficiency. Otherwise, your energy bill is going to be right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, efficiency is very, very important. So right. we're very excited about these units. They're going to be shipping all within about a month. Right. And uh, so the 1000 G2, that's the goal that's been announced. That previously. one launched a few weeks ago. Yes. Right. And it's shipping out today. Right. Okay. Well, thanks, Jacob. All right. Thank you.